As most of us know, Escape from Cluster Prime is the 60 minute long My Life as a Teenage Robot special. Many fans consider this special a turning point for the series. The episode was released in the middle of season 2, literally the middle of the series. The fate of the series was put on the success of the special. If the special didn't bring in high ratings, there wouldn't be a fourth season. Unfortunately, we all know how this went. From the very beginning of the episode, you can tell that Renzetti and his team tried their best to make sure that the special would be epic in scale. In this episode, Jenny accidentally destroys part of Tremerton by being cocky. This makes the residents of the town hate her. While moping around in the rubble of the structures she accidentally destroyed, she activates a portal and gets sucked into Cluster Prime, the capital of the Cluster Civilization. She damages one of her pigtails, which means that she can't fly anymore. Bit of a plot convenience, but I'll let this one slide. Jenny is initially afraid of the robots here, since she's so used to robots from the Cluster attacking her. She stumbles across a friendly group of robots which help her get used to the ways of Cluster Prime, and she actually starts enjoying herself. She starts to consider staying in Cluster Prime instead of returning to Tremerton. Jenny is put in a situation where she doesn't have to juggle being a teenager and a superpowered robot. In Cluster Prime, she could be both. From her perspective, Cluster Prime was paradise. Meanwhile, the Cluster attacks Tremerton after learning that Jenny is missing. I won't go into any more detail about the plot because I honestly think that it's worth watching for people who haven't seen it, and I shouldn't bore anyone who already has. With that being said, there are spoilers for the episode past this point, so if you haven't seen the special already, you might want to stop watching the video now. I have to say that Vega, a robot who Jenny meets on Cluster Prime, is an amazing character, and I wish that we could have seen more of her in future episodes. It was really interesting to see her betray her own mother and become the new leader of the Cluster. I'm considering making a video dedicated entirely to Vega since she has become such a fan favorite character, despite only being in one episode. If you guys are interested, please let us know. Towards the end of the episode, Jenny promised to return to Cluster Prime, but obviously never did. Maybe it was supposed to happen in Season 4 at some point, but who knows. Cluster Prime itself is beautiful. It's very obvious that the Teenage Robot team wanted to put Jenny in a big city just to show off what they could achieve with the Art Deco style. Nora and Sheldon got to work together in this episode. This works very well since they're both geniuses, and watching them clash is incredibly entertaining. Love them or hate them, the Crust Cousins are back and as bad as ever. They flip-flop between the two sides, and that's frustrating, but they're not a major part of this episode anyways. I think that this special was the peak of my life as a teenage robot, and maybe it could have worked well as a finale for the show. Escape from Cluster Prime is my favorite episode of My Life as a Teenage Robot, and in my opinion, there isn't much competition. It's kind of embarrassing, but this channel wouldn't exist if Jack Hubert didn't watch this episode. Around halfway through the episode, this cheesy song called They Need Me plays, and it actually made him cry. So, should you watch Escape from Cluster Prime? Uh, yeah, of course you should. It won an Emmy and was nominated for another. Plus, it encapsulates everything we love about my life as a teenage robot. No matter how low the ratings of this special were, it'll always have a place in my heart. I've been your narrator, Shane Zoltak. Thanks for watching.
Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment. Or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.